Orlando! I'm here to recruit you! I'm here to recruit heroes for equality. Are there any Harvey Milk style heroes out here today? We are joined today by my friends and our brothers and sisters in Washington, D.C., where they have gathered in equal numbers to us, us here today in Washington to stand up for full, unqualified equality. They're with us today. I've spoken at LGBT Pride events around the world, and I've never seen a change in a community like what you all have created in Orlando. But someone gave a speech last night, a friend, a leader, someone that I was with at the White House on August 12th when he honored my Uncle Harvey as the first LGBT person to receive the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And that's President Barack Obama. The President said, that there will be, in his office, a time when no LGBT couple will fear walking down any U.S. street. He said last night, and he said it to me on August 12th, and he publicly said last night, and I quote, I will end, don't ask, don't tell, that's my commitment to you. I travel around the world, and to be here in, in, in a place that I think most folks here know was envisioned by someone who did not see Central Florida become what it is today. There was a man named Walt Disney, who, and a company, by the way, that fully supports LGBT equality. Um, there was a man named Walt Disney who envisioned Walt Disney World, but he did not get to live to see it. And people would ask his family, how did it feel knowing that, you're, that Walt did not see Walt Disney World completed? And the answer is the same answer I give when people say, how, does it, how do you think, how does it feel to know that your uncle didn't see the day when he was you know, being killed 30 years ago? the day of full equality, and I say to them, he gave this, I gave him the same answer that the family gives on Walt Disney, he did see it, which is why he put his life on the line to talk about it, and you all are on his shoulders following his footsteps. Thank you so much for giving hope to all of our youth today. Thank you.